The idea of liquid gold has transfixed us for generations. But what if we told you that there was a liquid even more expensive than gold? Some liquids fetch millions, even tens of millions of dollars per gallon. From diamond-encrusted bottles of wine to animal venom worth more than your house, buckle up for an insight into the most expensive liquids on the planet. The number of fascinating animals out there is endless, and many of them have a far greater purpose than we realize. We know about snake and spider venom and cow and goat milk, but what about the humble crab? Introducing the horseshoe crab, whose blue blood, yep, you heard that right, blue, is not only a life-saving liquid, but a mighty expensive one, too. Unlike most other animals, horseshoe crabs do not use hemoglobin to transport oxygen through their bodies. Instead, they use a protein called hemocyanin, which is high in copper, explaining the unique color. Every year, hundreds of thousands of horseshoe crabs are harvested for their valuable blue blood, a quart of which can be sold for $15,000. That pegs its price per gallon at about $60,000. But why is it so expensive? The blood has a high level of sensitivity, meaning that it is an excellent test for bacterial contamination. Before knowing this, scientists had no easy way of knowing whether a vaccine or a medical tool was contaminated with bacteria. The medical scientists who explore these possibilities typically make around $80,000 per year. Lives are saved by horseshoe crabs. On the flip side, if we're not prepared or if we don't act quickly, lives are ruined, sometimes ended, by scorpion stings. The aptly named Death Stalker is not only one of the most deadly scorpions on the planet, but one of the most deadly animals, period. The nearly 4-inch long predatory arachnids possess a venom that contains large amounts of toxins, toxins which can be both extremely harmful and extremely helpful. The venom is known for its aid in treating inflammatory bowel disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and multiple sclerosis. Although accessing it doesn't come cheap, the selling price for Death Stalker Venom is an out-of-this-world $39 million per gallon. Since they exude such minimal amounts in one sting, one scorpion would need to be milked 2.64 million times to fill one gallon. And there's a serious risk. A Death Stalker sting hurts 100 times more than that of a bee, so the milker puts themselves in real danger. How much can you make as a scorpion milker? Well, it depends on how fast you act. A group in Morocco has developed a remote-controlled machine for milking scorpions, which means more venom sold and more money coming in. A general scorpion anti-venom called Anascorp is sold for $12,000 plus per vial, meaning one course of treatment can run as much as $62,000 for a single sting. While you might not have been too well-versed in the world of scorpion venom, we're certain you know a thing or two about snake venom. The World Health Organization estimates that there are up to 1.8 million bites from venomous snakes annually worldwide. And if you're on the receiving end of one of those, you better hope that there's an anti-venom available, especially if the snake in question is a black mamba. Unlike most poisonous snakes where the venom travels slowly through the bloodstream, the black mamba's poison immediately attacks the victim's central nervous system and shuts down major organs. Six hours and it's bye-bye birdie. That's why extracting venom for medical purposes is vital in order to develop an antivenom. Of course, it'll cost you a pretty penny. In the USA, a typical antivenom vial can cost between $1,500 and $2,200, but a snake bite often requires between 20 and 25 vials to be neutralized. All up, a snake bite victim in the US could end up paying $30,000 in pharmacy costs alone. The most expensive snake venom of them all belongs to the King Cobra, whose poisonous liquid reaches in the ballpark of $153,000 per gallon. Most snake milker jobs are paid by the hour, but in general, wildlife biologists make around $60,000 per year. Who needs anti-venom, though? As the oldies say, just pour some alcohol on it. Granted, alcohol is a disinfectant, but it only works for surface wounds, not snake bites. However, when the bottle in question is the Macallan Valerio Adami 1926, then pouring even a sliver of it out would be an insult to the whiskey gods. This bottle has been dubbed the Holy Grail of whiskeys because of the combination of its rarity, vintage, and unique artwork. In October of 2019, one bottle sold at auction for, oh boy, $1.9 million? That astronomical figure officially made it the most expensive spirit bottle ever auctioned. The bottle is 700 milliliters. A standard shot of whiskey is 30 milliliters. That means there's just over 23 shots in the bottle, each of which would cost you a smidge over $81,000. Per gallon, that's nearly 7.2 million. Whiskey masters typically earn anywhere between 50 and 100K a year. 
meaning that their entire yearly salary could only buy just one shot of the stuff. While we're on the topic of expensive alcohols, it's no secret that a rare wine can attract an enormous price tag. But how much does the most expensive bottle actually cost? Do you think it's more than the whiskey? In 2018, a 73-year-old bottle of French Burgundy became the most expensive bottle of wine ever sold at auction, fetching a bank-breaking $558,000. While it doesn't quite match it with the Macallan, this 1945 Romani Conti still managed to rake in more than 17 times its original estimate of $32,000. The USDA defines one serving of wine as five ounces, or about 150 milliliters, which means there are about five glasses worth of wine in a 750 milliliter bottle. Going by that logic, a glass of red from the 1945 Romani Conti would set you back a whopping $110,000. Worth it? You decide. Per gallon, that's over $2.8 million. These days, an expert French winemaker earns an average salary of $46,000, or about $52,000 US dollars. With a name like Taste of Diamonds, you would expect to be buying an icon of excellence, luxury, and sophistication. And that's exactly what this bottle of champagne delivers. On the outside, the Superman-style signature logo is handcrafted from 18 carats solid gold. And if you look close enough, you'll spot the 19-carat deep-cut white diamond centerpiece. On the inside, you'll taste a blend of Grand Cru Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier. So, ready for the price tag? Any guesses? 500,000. 1 million. Nope. Try $2.07 million a bottle. That equates to $414,000 per glass or $10.4 million per gallon. Can you imagine rocking up to a party with one of these? Just as the finest champagne is a symbol of exuberance, so is perfume. Take this bottle, for instance. The Chanel No. 5 Limited Edition Grand Extra. It goes for $30,000 for a 30.4-ounce bottle and is one of the most expensive in the industry, without a doubt. On average, one ounce of perfume provides around 300 sprays. The massive Chanel bottle, therefore, offers 9,120 sprays. This means you're paying $3.29 for every single spritz. And yet, it doesn't even come close to the perfume they call Shamook. Shamook is on sale for a cool $1,295,000. The crystal bottle is decorated with 3,571 individual diamonds, plus topazes, giant pearls, over 11 pounds of pure silver, and 4 pounds of 18 karat gold. Each spray is designed to last 12 hours, but you wouldn't expect anything less from a record holder. The unmatched fragrance currently holds two Guinness World Records, the most diamonds set on a perfume bottle, and the tallest remote-controlled fragrance spray product. If that's the price for just one bottle, then for an entire gallon of this stuff, you'd be forking out tens of millions easy. However, only one of these was ever made, so you'd never be able to bathe in opulence, even if you wanted to. Want to make your own perfume? Then a degree in cosmetic science is what you need. Land a job, and you'll be looking at a potential salary of over $100,000. The most common blood types are A, B, O, and AB, either positive or negative. But did you know about the so-called golden blood? That's right. Known as RH null, this blood type lacks all possible RH antigens, which means that it can be universally donated. In other words, it's the most precious blood out there. Fewer than 50 people have been identified with golden blood since its initial discovery in 1961. So how much is it worth? Scientists haven't been able to put a price on it because it is so rare and possesses such amazing life-saving capabilities. Golden blood really is considered priceless. Nurses usually earn between $50,000 and $100,000 per year, but the people who study RH Null can make much, much more than that. Now to something we can all relate to a little better, printer ink. How often do you find yourself having to replace the cartridge? And how often are you appalled with the sky-high prices? Too often, cartridges can go for anywhere between 50 and 100 bucks, with some estimates suggesting that the price per gallon of printer ink, specifically black printer ink, is $2,700. But why is ink so expensive? It's all because of printer companies. Printers are getting cheaper and cheaper, but once you've bought one, you're stuck buying the same company's ink until the end of time. And that's exactly what they want. The printers are sold at a loss in order to acquire a customer, with the profits then coming from the continuous need to rebuy ink. Deceptive, isn't it?
Sometimes called quicksilver, mercury is a shiny, silvery, and most importantly, rare liquid metal. It serves a lot more purposes than we realize. Fluorescent lamps, batteries, thermometers, valves, dental amalgams, and liquid mirrors, just to name a few. The precious liquid metal is worth around $3,500 per gallon, and its value has, at times, risen faster than that of gold. That's your everyday mercury, though. Allegedly, there's another far more rare, far more dangerous mercury out there on the black market called red mercury. Yep, you guessed it, it's red. One pound of red mercury is said to be worth up to $1 million, which would be almost 9 million bucks per gallon. Keep in mind, however, that scientists insist that red mercury is nothing more than a myth. The average annual salary for precious metal workers in the United States is relatively low, at just $40,000. Did you have any idea how much these liquids were worth? What's the most expensive liquid you've ever purchased? Let us know. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you so much for checking out The Richest. See you next time and have a great day.